Hey there and welcome to this new Blender tutorial where I'm going to show you how to get rid of dark spots in your glass objects featuring this object which you can buy on my Gumroad for a euro or very close to a dollar or recreate yourself using the tutorial I have linked here. So uh, without plugging myself too much let's hop straight into this. Uh, I'm going to quickly detexture this. Well, I'm going to select it, detexture it. Did I just select the wrong thing? Yep, I did. Uh, select this, detexture it, add a new material, and I'm just going to add a normal glass shader uh, without any further shenanigans. And here you go. So right now we can see this is EV. We're not going to use EV for this because EV usually doesn't give you any dark spots in your material. So I'm going to show you how this looks in cycles. This is what it looks like. And right off the bat, you can't really see much, uh, right? And uh, that is because I have already changed some settings. If I was to go to the light paths, and yes, this is a major spoiler on how to how to get rid of it and choose the default settings, really dark spots. I'm going to quickly render this out for you in a margin of 100%. And then I'm going to show you uh, what I actually mean. So yeah, as you can see right off the bat, we can see that we get some really dark spots right about here, 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 and basically everywhere. Uh, I'm going to go to a new render layer and tweak some settings. So basically the main thing that keeps this here from being as translucent as it can get is uh, the transparent, but mostly the glossy one. So all I need to do is set this here to some larger number like 12 and Render this again for your convenience so I can show you the difference that alone makes, but we will see. So yeah, as you can see, this is a major, major difference. As you can see, this black spot really got erased from existence. Some darker spots here got also really... Uh, wait, give me a second. Uh, do, 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 do. Is there maybe a way to get rid of this? No, there is not. Uh, okay, we have compositing, we are, we're stuck with it. Well, nothing we can do. Uh, so yeah, you can see there is dark spots, there is dark spots, and they are mostly gone. Not fully, but mostly gone. And that is also so much better than before. Uh, really, it only took like, uh, what, about one second more? Uh, than the previous one. Well, if you have more glass object of uh, objects, of course, it's going to take a lot longer. But now let's go overboard. I can simply change this to uh, 1024, but this wouldn't really change anything because the total bounces here are at 12. So let me just bump them up and bump up the transparent just for good measure and the transmission also. We don't really need the diffuse because there's nothing diffused about this. So let me render this again once more and show you the difference that makes. So yeah, as you can see right now, it has fully rendered and we can see that we get some small scale differences. Like for instance, here we get a much more defined line. Overall, our glass is nicer, brighter and shinier. We get some nice reflections and here we get some really pale which is really, really cool. So yeah, and we also have some dark spots that still go away. But all in all, you can see that the difference is not that big compared to the initial transition from the standard values to just setting the glossy to 12. And um, so really, is this here recommendable? Well, it's with one glass object, it even rendered faster than previously because it uh, built up the scene faster and probably also just composited just a little bit faster. So with one object, it's not that big of a deal cranking everything up to like 1024. But uh, in a large scale scene, a large scale scene where you have a lot of objects with a lot of bounces in a closed setting, I wouldn't really recommend setting this to, uh, to 1024. 12 is also a stretch, but it can pass through for a final render. But yeah, 1024 is definitely 
way 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 too big so let me show you what you can do instead so let me see let me see let's set this to the default values and i'm just going to set the glossy to 12 and now i'm going to show you how to get rid of the dark spots in a cheesy 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 way so we're going to do this with the material node and we're going to look up the light path we're going to plug it in here get a mix shader plug it in here and from the light path we're just going to look for the uh, for the ray depth which is right here and we plug that into the factor so now we are mixing the light path ray depth with the glass and we're looking for a transparent bsdf we're plugging that into the bottom lastly what we're going to need is a math node we're going to set it to greater than which is right here and we're going to set it to greater than 12. so everything that is greater than 12 also enable the clamping if you want you don't have to but i like to enable it uh, so everything that is more bounces than 12 will automatically get into a transparent bsdf sort of thing now let me render this out one final time for you so you can see what difference that makes now you can see comparing this here to the to the uh 1024 one it does look a very very mild bit worse so we get some darker spots but not that much uh, we get a few differences here but also not that much and co but compared to the to the um, one where we just chose 12 this here is actually pretty good as you can see we get some brighter lines here it also fixes some things up the render time went up by just about four seconds but uh, really this is because there is only one object if you had multiple object objects stacked behind one another this would be a lifesaver because the moment you start adding objects behind your glass object so more objects after each other so imagine you have like glasses stacked one uh, one next to each other you're looking at, from, uh, at it from the side you would get so many dark spots because your renderer or your cycled renderer wouldn't be able to comprehend that many bounces in order to display the brightness so this is a nice workaround. It works slower uh, than just cranking it up to uh, to 124 uh, with one object. But if you have like 20 of them, this will render quite a lot faster. And as you can see, it still gives you a little bit of a nicer result compared to the 12 bounces one. Well, so yeah, I hope you could use this. I hope this is useful information and you found what you were looking for. This is this here is the best way to actually get rid of it. I would uh, right, uh, I would greatly recommend changing the glossy. If you want, you can also up the transmission and even the transparent if you wanted to. But uh, if you have multiple glasses in your scene, you can use this even for final renders. Uh, and it will just work fine. But this is more of a workaround kind of thing, and this is the real deal. So yeah, I hope you found this useful, and I will see you in the next one. Check out my Gumroad if you want, if not, don't, and leave a like, comment, or don't, whatever you want. Bye-bye.